<laughs> listening at you listening at you right now do you think your candidacy is coming in such a perfect time now at miss universe because we talk about you know improving the lives of your community empowerment i think talking about the perfect timing or i can i can say that everything is coming into you know reality where it's coming to an image where we can see so it's basically it, it's actually like a good timing everything together is just piling up well together <laughs> yes that's you know listening at you now looking at you right now it really seems that your background in showbiz has really helped you in good stead here for your preparation in Miss Universe. There, there's no doubt the confidence you're being articulate is really are really evident right now. It, you are so at ease in front of the camera that I can't help but remind myself of remind me uh, remind me of you about like about Ia words back at Riona Gray, our beauty queens here in the Philippines, because they've Megan Young even because they've also been celebrities before before they became title holders. So do you think being in showbiz or having uh, a background with uh, the entertainment industry helps in becoming a beauty queen to attain that kind of confidence mm. in the world stage? Okay, I do not want to take sides and I am not going to lie, but because of seven years in my career, it really helped me to another level of confidence. You know, learning how to be brave in front of people has been uh, the thing that I'm scared of since I was young. And, and so like, it's an extra help. It's an extra, extra, extra benefit by being in the showbiz, by being on stage numerous times, multiple times, it, it really helped me. And I'm so grateful for, for that career path of mine that led me to this direction. And, and so I'm not saying that, oh, you have to be in the showbiz to have this or that kind of confidence. It's really, it's really on you. Like, just, just be brave, you know, like be sure of what you want like who you want to become and, and how do you want to inspire people around you. So it's just, it's just an extra, you know, uh, benefit of mine <laughs> by being in the show biz, it helps to boost the confidence. Yes. Sorry. Some people, I have to... just, some people are just better, you know, they don't need to be in, in the show biz. They're already like great. Some people are just born with it. Some can be learned. It's just, it, it can be learned, you know, through experience. Yeah, but I, so do you think it's an advantage considering that, you know, when you're, as, nowadays Miss Universe is looking for a spokesmodel. So when you say spokesmodel, combination of being a spokesperson, which I think you have right now, you have the qualities of, and being a model, given your showbiz background, right? Modeling background. So yeah, you remind me so much, you kind of remind me so much of Pia in terms of charisma. And oh. if there's a common denominator between you and Pia, it's because you both come from showbiz background. Pia also came from showbiz before she embarked a very successful pageant career. So, oh, really? especially when you talk, yeah. So, yeah, that's why I was. That's why I asked that question. So, if being, uh, being at ease in front of the cameras help you in achieving that kind of killer confidence that you have right now. So, yeah. Yeah, I, like I said, I'm not gonna lie. It's it's really an extra advantage of mine that I have. But if if you learn to constantly communicate with other people, if you go, if you get yourself out of the box and you you communicate, you network, it can be learned. Like it really, True. yes. And I can guarantee, I was not like this before. Me, I, I'm like shivering in front of the camera. You have no idea. And the director hasn't said action yet, and I'm already acting without the direction. So yeah. everyone has gone there, has been there. 
Yeah, yeah. So we've been talking about the advantages of being part of showbiz. Now let's go to the negative aspect of it. How are you in dealing with criticism, bashing? Oh. <laughs> okay. Honest opinion? Yes. I have no comments because bashers are going to bash and I cannot stop them. And what I can only do is to just focus on my goals and nothing can stop me. But thanks to them as well, because it's like a temptation where it's trying to test whether you're serious enough about your goals. So basically I have no comments. I don't deal with any of the bashers. Bashers will always be doing their job. So I'm just doing my job, mainly focusing. <laughs> so you, so you, you no longer dwell on it. Like even the harshest things said about you. Oh, trust me. Like, I just find it funny instead. If they say the nastiest thing about me, like, oh, okay. Is that even true? <laughs> okay. Yes. That's all, That's all I can do, you know? So same thing goes to life experience. People won't like, not everyone will like you, regardless of how kind of a person you are, how many people you've helped, how much are you willing to help other people? Like there will always be, you know, the distractions, the, the, the bashers, but it has nothing to do with you and your goals. Like seriously, it has nothing to do with you. So yeah, <laughs> let them be, just let them do their thing. <laughs> so, so sh can I safely say that you're good at uh, managing your social media accounts? Because you're you're one very chill oh, I'm lady very out there. Chill. <laughs> I'm very chill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's nice to hear, considering that social media has somehow played a an important role in you know a pageant like Miss Universe. So, do you think social media plays a, a very important role? in your opinion, in a pageant like Miss Universe? Oh. Okay. I am not going to say that social media is not good because of social media, we are able to, to put many amazing things out there. It really depends on how you use it. So if you can control your social media well and you're putting like positive messages out to the world, like how amazing would the world be, you know? Instead of like uh, just putting things, you know, whatever you want to put out there without considering twice, will it affect other people's lives negatively? So it, it really plays an important role. It really is important. I cannot say it's not because without social media, we wouldn't be able to connect. You wouldn't know me. I wouldn't know you. Simple as it is. <laughs> do you, yes. Yeah, I get you. But that, as a last question to this segment, do you think uh, you, you all candidates are being secretly judged by the content that you put out there on your respective social media accounts? Or is this just like, something that you guys, we should do it for fun. We should do for fun. You mean like easily judged by by the viewers, by the fans, by other countries, or you mean like the Both contestants? fans and the competition itself? Like who knows the like who knows uh, if the fans or some people from the organization are already keeping tabs of what you have been doing, even during this mm. time of pandemic. Like I said, if if you're putting things like good things out there. I don't think there is there is anything you should worry about. And as a Miss Universe, basically, I believe that she should be a woman that is an inspiration to others. You know, someone that is sociable, someone that is relatable, influential. So if she's posting things out there, then yeah, even if other people are looking up to you, then you you shouldn't be worried. You should you should take that as an advantage. You know, so same thing goes to other contestants as Miss Universe contestant uh, from all around the world, including me, you know, the neighboring country, Vietnam, Thailand, Laos, Myanmar, and so on. Like, I'm pretty sure there are people out there who are watching you. I mean, including you as well, if I'm not yes. wrong. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just going to say the reality out, like, 
it's it's the fact there will always be judgmental going around but the most important thing is just you be you and then do your best at the competition and always stay like stay stay grounded and i think True. that's very important yes Yes, you know I've been enjoying so much of our interview now, but I, I'm, but I have to go now to the second portion of our competition of our competition of our interview where we, I ask you fun personality questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, are you ready? This is just gonna be long, fun and light, you know, because we've been talking okay. about serious stuff during the first yes. part of the interview. So let's now begin. So kind of a fast talk thing. So just to get to know more of you. Minus the Miss Universe, the hard Miss Universe question. So, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> All right. Are you number one? Are you a morning or a night person? Oh my God, you're not gonna hate me, right? I'm a night person. No, no judge here. No judgment here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a night person, but 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 if I wake up. I might have a hard time waking up in the morning. Like I would hate myself seeing myself waking up early in the morning, but I always feel so satisfied at the end of the day. Like, Hey, I woke up super early. I did so many things. So it really depends, but mostly I'm a night person. I love enjoying my nighttime. I get you, you know, you came from showbiz, so you're so used to long hours of taping. So yeah, I would get, why would you choose a night person? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Since you, since you are a celebrity in your home country, what has been the nastiest thing or rumor said about you? Oh my God. Okay, there are times, there are bad days sometimes. And there are times that I forgot to wear my, not, not during the pandemic, like before the pandemic, I still wear a mask. You know, that time I already started to wear my own mask just to, <laughs> not to protect from anything, but just to like, Hi. So there are days that, you know, where women go through menstrual cycle and then you have that PMSing period. I'm not going to lie. Every woman is like that. They have their own bad days. I was just grumpy. And so like, I would have bad vision as well because I'm wearing contact lens right now. Not oh. so bad, but yeah, uh, a little bit. It's a little bit blurry. I cannot see really far. So my face is kind of grumpy. So it got back to me about the a rumor saying that Sarita, oh my God, is very arrogant outside. <laughs> it's very I think, diva. I think a lot of celebrities get that kind of uh, criticism that you act like prima like donna. Puppy, you know? Know? I mean, it's it's part of the territory being misunderstood. Yes, I yes. So. I mean, but something. I'm like a puppy, you know, like, hi, Sarita, I'm like, hi, I'm always like that. If you call my name, regardless of how grumpy I am, if you just call my name and I would just turn, hi, you know? <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of nasty. As it got back to me, like, Sarita is so mean. She's so arrogant. She's so snobby. She's such a diva. Yes, that's basically like the basic thing you hear about as an artist. Yeah, typical. Yeah, that's for sure. You brush, you just brush it off because you don't know. Yes. You do yourself better than anyone else, right? So, my next question is: What is one interesting trivia people still don't know about you? What is oh, one interesting what? trivia people still don't know about you? Okay. People see me as a very talkative person, and also. That's what I do for in, in my life, my career. I'm a TV host as well. I, I'm an actress as well. But at the same time, my goodness, I'm a good listener. I can listen to you for hours. Like, I guarantee you. <laughs> I guarantee. You know, that's a good thing. I think someone told me the best speakers are the best listeners. Right? Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know if I read it somewhere or someone has just told me that in order for you to become a better speaker, you have to be a better listener first. Yeah, someone told me that. Oh, okay, thank you. But yes, I, I can say I'm, I'm a very good listener. You have 
anything to tell me or anything you want to cry on my shoulder yeah. it's possible <laughs> Okay, so since you know a little a little bit about French culture, what is the sexiest French word for you? Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna say a little phrase. By just hearing it, it makes me it makes my heart melt. <sighs> J'ai envie de t'embrasser. <laughs> what, uh, what does that mean? <laughs> J'ai envie de t'embrasser means I want to kiss you. Oh my God! How many times have you said it? How many times have you said it to someone? <laughs> oh my God! I think so. Like when I was a few years back, um, yeah, like there, one person that says that to me, and I'm like, oh my God! You know? <laughs> yeah. My heart just melts. When you hear it in French, okay. When you say it in English, I want to kiss you. It's just so straightforward yeah it's just so so scary for some reason but when you hear it in french i'm like i want to pinch you but at the same time my heart melts oh i love the subtle piece of that don't you think french is one of the sexiest languages in the world right i want to learn french too no just just learn a few words those kind of, you know, attractive bonjour. words. Mm. All I know is bonjour. Merci. Salut ma chérie. Oh my yeah. god. So, my ne- which leads me to my next question. Okay. Emily in Paris or the Queen's Gambit? Uh, the second one is what? I haven't... The Queen's Gambit. Oh, actually, I've never... I haven't watched that. I'm sorry. But Emily in Paris, my heart... I have a huge crush on a male actor, actually. Oh, don't you want to wish your in Paris right now? I wish I could be on the second season, you know? (laughs) Why not audition your celebrity yourself? Probably get a Hollywood agent, get yourself a Hollywood agent for for you to be able to fulfill that dream. (laughs) Oh my goodness, I have a huge crush on him. So I don't know what's the other one. You might need to... I haven't had time to be, you know, watching any yeah. movies at the moment. So just send me that and then I'll, let's see if I can give you the difference. But for now, I, I definitely love Emily in Paris. Yes. It's just, it makes me want to travel so bad. I was watching me during too. the pandemic. I'm like, I need to go too. there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right? I it's swear. Crazy. I swear, I love Paris. I love Paris so much. I yeah. thank God I was able to go there before the pandemic. Yeah, really? yeah, 2017, but just for a couple of days, like four days. So I just did all these touristy stuff, wow. like going to the Eiffel Tower, to the Louvre Museum. Yeah, but I, yeah, but okay. So moving on, who's your favorite Miss Universe winner? How many can I t- say? Just one. Most favorite. I have one that I have been admiring her so much. Like, I cannot stop bragging about her to other people. I love everyone. Like, I have six, seven favorites. I'm just going to say Catriona Gray. Yes. Why? And then let me say my second one, Sushmita Sen from India. Like her speech, when you listen, it's so simple, but when she says it, it's just really meaningful. You know, it's so easy to understand, but at the same time, it's just really, really touches my heart. Yes. Yeah, that, yes. Are, True. They're both very eloquent and very charming. They, yeah. they even speak with charisma. Yeah. Yeah. Good choices. So who's your favorite? Movie actress then, actor. Okay, can I say three because each of them comes from different continents, and I learned you know the diverse of acting. Yes. Okay, one from Asia is a South Korean actress. Her name is Gianna Jun, or Jun Ji Hyun. If you know her, if you watch uh, My Love from the Stars or Legend of the Blue Sea, she is wonderful. I love. 
Jun Ji Hyun. And then from Europe, she is French. Her name is Marion Cotillard. Oh. She's yes. good. Like, she yes. Good. She won an Oscar already. She, yeah, she is good. I, hands down to her. So I'm basically learning from each one of them. And from the US, I have, okay, I have Natalie Portman, and I have Rachel McDam, and I have Angelina Jolie. So I cannot, yes. we all have different, you know, kinds of skills in terms of acting. You cannot just pick one and which one is the best because I'm an actress myself and I appreciate the diverse of acting skills. Still in the blank. Oh. Cambodian, Cambodian women are good at blank. Oh, Cambodian women are good at helping others first or putting others first. That one, I guarantee you, like, our happiness is not just me like if you come to cambodia and then you ask them for help even if you're a stranger they will definitely help you even if they, like they have the last penny in them they will try to find a way to help you and i think that's just one amazing thing of art it's we can say it's a cultural thing but you see that in us women in cambodia it's it's so weird right uh, it's so rare to hear something like that but i guarantee yes. you true okay we're we're nearing the end of this interview uh since you are a celebrity again which do you prefer appear in the cover of vogue magazine or time can i pick both because i want to be no just one just oh one. my goodness time or vogue <laughs> okay fine all right all right vogue vogue vogue, yeah. vogue. you like you like Glam, glam you like being I, like, I appreciate those you know um artistic ways of, of how they publish out in each different edition of the magazines so yeah it's it's very cool all right since you are very much into social media given your celebrity status how many selfies how many selfies do you think one can post on instagram without appearing too narcissistic okay so how many things how many selfies do you think is too narcissistic yes but but how many but how many do you think is too nar to, 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 to be considered as a narcissist <laughs> <laughs> 10, 10 or more. Oh my god, really? 10, 10 with, okay, 10 in a month or 10 in? Uh, daily, regularly. <laughs> okay, final answer, maybe. I barely post selfies, so, but it has nothing to do with, all right, fine, once a month once a month just once a month so it's already considered narcissistic yeah no, without, no, no. Once a month without okay. being too yeah that's good yeah it's okay that's true yeah that's yeah, okay. yeah since you're a movie actress as well which do you prefer win an oscar for best actress or win the miss universe crown oh my god these both are on my list you know what I'm gonna pick Miss Universe because after Miss Universe, I might win an Oscar after. Yes, yes. The closest <laughs> one was Halle Berry. Yeah, she became first runner up in Miss USA, and then 30 years after, she won her, she won an Oscar. Yeah, 2000. Yeah, I like that answer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ask two questions. Okay, this is going, one's going to be hard just to test your wits. Over the last 10 months, we have seen people's livelihood being ravaged by the pandemic, being destroyed by the pandemic. How, as a title holder, as Miss Universe Cambodia, will you, give you, will, will you give these people optimism at the trying time? Okay, let's start it this way. Whatever you went through last year, even until today, we're still in the pandemic. I hear you. I understand you. You know why? Because we are on the same boat. And if you feel like you want to reach out to me, I am here to listen. You have me. And let's think about the bright side. 
look on the brighter side. If the pandemic didn't happen, I think we as individuals wouldn't be able to learn the new things that we learned during the pandemic. For example, like my friends, they don't even know how to hold a pan properly. And now they are an expert in cook. And me giving you an example, I have always doubted myself that I can never be able to edit videos on a program, you know, Adobe Premiere Pro, I can never do that. But within that pandemic, I was able to do it and I'm actually editing so many wonderful edit videos. So just embrace that moment. We will get through this. We learn a lot of things and it really taught us that we need to appreciate the small things in our moment. All right. I love your optimism. So my final question is, can you give a message to all your fans and followers supporting you, cheering you to become your your country's first ever Miss Universe winner? Last but not least, thank you to everyone that is watching this live session with me and Adam. Thank you so much for your support. And I, like I told you, I never expected to receive such wonderful, amazing support from you. I promise you. You, I will do my best. I will work my hardest and I'm going to huh, do my very, very best to put Cambodia on the map of the pageant world, especially during Miss Universe. So thank you once again. And please, 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 please be safe during this pandemic. We will all go through this and we will be back to our amazing life. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much. Sarita, for gracing this interview, there's no doubt that you really made so many people happy just by gracing this interview. We are re there are 229 people watching us right now. So thank you to oh. all your fans and supporters for tuning in. To everyone in Cambodia, I read and watch all your answers. They are so touching and the truth we can solve. She he says, and then Richai Laing says, I miss Cambodia. Cambo Cambodia, Filipino, Indonesia, every country really should unite. Um, I hope we can join top 20. My fearless forecast is even past top 20 for Sarita right now. Romanian pageants is also saying hi. Oh, we have a viewer from France as well. Love and support from France, from Chanda Bote. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Hi, everyone, no. and thank you so much for spending your precious time to be a part of our live session. And hopefully you enjoy like our conversation as well. Yes. And thank you. Thank you so much, Adam, for like having me. It's it's actually an honor for, you know, inviting me to be a part of this, too. No, I should be the one to thank you more for accommodating me at the last <laughs> minute <laughs> for no this worries. interview. For, I'm sure your schedule is so hectic right now. For you to even accommodate me, someone you don't even know, no worries. I couldn't thank you enough for this opportunity. So thank you, thank you. A million thanks for this. Thank so before I let you go, yeah. yeah. So before I let you go, can you um, can you invite all your uh, fans and followers as to where they can follow you on social media so they can keep tabs of what's going on you, uh, what's going on you in the run-up to the Miss Universe pageant very, ah, very soon. Okay, well, everyone that is watching me right now, you can actually follow me and my journey to Miss Universe 2020, both on Instagram and Facebook by just typing Sarita Reth, and there is only one account. Like, just put Sarita Reth. That's basically it. It's so easy to find and hope to see you there. And thank you so much once again. And thank you in advance for your amazing support. <laughs> and on that note, thank you so much again for gracing this interview. It has been such, uh, I had a wonderful time getting to know you, Sarita. No words, no Me words. Too. So stay safe and hydrated. Yes, you too. And thank you to the guy behind the camera Fonzie, that has been yes. helping, you know, uh, <laughs> facilitating. Yes, with the visuals. Yeah, with the visual. So thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you, everyone who, who's tuned in right now. And my endless thanks to you for 
tuning in right now. So on that note, God bless you, Sarita. Let's go to the Yeah, and I wish you luck on your journey to become that your country's next Miss Universe. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right. Very kind Vir of you. Mm. Virtual hug and okay. kisses all the way from Manila, Sarita. And all the way from Cambodia. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Good night.